Now we've taken up a, a lot of your time, but but I do have two two more questions for you. So time to bring out the uh, your your crystal ball, and uh, you know with with your work in the in the digital wallet space, where do you where do you think we'll be in in five years? Which on the one hand seems uh, like a long way off, but at the pace at which uh, you know the months are, are rolling by, uh, it, it'll be here seemingly tomorrow. But yeah, where 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 would you like to see things uh, shaping up in, in that space? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad you at least said five. I feel like <laughs> I can still I can still like uh, feel useful in that time frame. You st you start getting into ten years plus, and I no, the no. answer will always be I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah. And and that's uh, the wisest answer. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I mean, the I think where I hope will be and where uh, where I, I truly do think we will be, and, and it isn't just hopeful, uh, is a uh, just seeing more sort of connection points of, around those already doing this sort of work and. Uh, interoperable systems where I as an individual have uh, both the freedom to make choices, both when it comes to technology, but also just, you know, how that enables various decisions, what, what school I'm going to, you know, how that maps through to certain jobs that really fit my interests and my skill sets. So I think, I really do think in, in five years, we're going to be in a very interesting place and, and, uh, and hopefully really see a sort of rebalancing socially of, of you know, the, those that have had access and opportunity and those that, that really, you know, haven't either um, by bad luck or quite direct, like systematic exclusion of, of you know, having opportunity to, to certain things. So I hope to see that sort of rebalancing by way yeah. of these open tools and technologies where I, you know, at a fraction of the cost and again i think the the sort of most optimistic version of some of these llms and and the ai wave sort of hitting us in the face there's a version of this i think that's that's very important and powerful um so those things converging with some of the tools again learn card being one of of many but uh yeah it's, it's seeing a a very different sort of architecture and complexion to what education represents. Uh, it's not about getting the singular degree from Harvard or, or name your IV of choice hmm. or I don't know. I don't, what's, I don't know what the Ivy League equivalent uh, the, the, is. The Sandstone Universities of Australia. So yes. Sandstone. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, seeing a lot more empowerment, both at the institutional level when it comes to trade schools and community colleges and those doing just really, you know, powerful, practical work, plugging into industries and, and jobs that are available. Seeing that all just continue to blur and folks feeling like they have, you know, the tools and resources to make the choices that they feel or, or their network or their parents feel, <laughs> you know, th those that are part of that sort of influence, that sphere of influence. Um, Feeling like those are very real choices as opposed to you know right now it's 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 kind of like cool there's some there's some interesting tools i bet like of course i still only have this one avenue and i've got to go take on this big loan to get the singular degree right. so hmm. um, i think though that that sort of mindset will uh it's probably a full generational so that's what we have five years is like uh still feels like we're, we're in some of that transition um okay. But yeah, it's uh, I'm 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 an eternal optimist. I really do think that we're moving that direction, even though there's a lot going on uh, outside of just the education sort of employment space that is putting certain pressures and and you know there there are other sort of uh, power dynamics and incentives at play that uh, that are you know going to be the the sort of both the pull and the push to move. I think in that direction. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Great. Uh, yeah, I think that's a wonderful and, and very compelling vision. And, and you, you touched on it a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, in, in, re in referencing the, the non-formal. So, so hopefully, as, as part of this world, it is informal, non-formal, as well as the formal education and, and true lifelong learning that, uh, that 
yeah. ultimately enables everyone to to rise to their their capability and and, and their interest and, and passion. So, yeah. where 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 is their value in the world? And giving people like wherever that can be identified, like I want I want that to speak to people uh, in a, in a very direct way, and not not feel like you have to be pulled or pushed in any singular direction based mm. on you know prior existing social structures or right. corporate interests whatever it might be so yeah opening up the, the value channels that we all know exist in all sorts of interesting places um, yeah that's the that's the that's the vision excellent no oh, well so then and that's that's a perfect segue into my final question for you which is then around learning economy foundation so so where where then will you be and in, and in, in, in the organization be in, in five years and how do you how do you guess what else what else what else do you need to do or how do you is is your role shifting in, across those five years to help help make the and working with many partners around the world but but to uh yeah where will you where will the organization be in five years to, to help make this happen yeah that is part of what i love about the work is that it's really hard to say but i i do feel you know fairly strong about the existing sort of momentum and projects we mm. uh, we have moving and and furthering those uh you know finding others that, that want to kind of uh be a part of, of a similar sort of movement uh so uh i would say twofold it's it's uh being able to look back at the the work that we're doing now whether it's with the scouts or uh, uh you know any higher ed institutions mm state networks, whatever it looks like, and having, you know, real data and, and to be able to point to the impact and say this, this sort of, you know, our, our theory of change and, and what we've been working towards really does matter and, and it's proving impactful for folks. So uh, really being able to see and point to that data, I think, is, is, is uh, in, in scope. And then I'd also say, you know, our, I think maybe even beyond five years, uh, I think like our signal of, of success, like we would sort of love to see this, this open infrastructure just become as ubiquitous and uh, known as, you know, say the internet itself. Some of these, I point to email a lot. This, you know, we kind of all take it for granted, but we, you know, we communicate digitally daily uh, yeah. uh, and it's, it's, you know, taken obviously decades to kind of get there, but, Having some of this infrastructure exist that is as pervasive, but also sort of uh, invisible in many ways, uh, and is just proving useful to people, and learning economy really representing more of a uh, more of a governance body. We've always seen ourselves as as sort of you know, stewards. What does it look like for uh, a strong network to just sort of steward this infrastructure out into the world and kind of keep it on on you know uh, po positive tracks? not have to be, you know, directly in, in the line of fire as it were. So uh, that would be a really strong signal for us to, to say, oh, we've actually kind of been uh, less prominent or, or, you know, even further into the background and mm. uh, helping, you know, helping, I guess, steward what already exists in the world uh, and not always being that right at the front lines of building it. So wonderful. It takes a, it takes a village and yeah. Uh, it's like yours, obviously. It's it's been awesome to to connect, and you know, I think we share so much uh, in what we're trying to make happen. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And and again, back back to uh, the skills collaborative and, and open skills networks and, and and other other ways that our our paths cross. So so thank you, Taylor, so much for for your time today, and, and thank you to to Learning Economy yeah. Foundation and, and all the work that collectively you're you're doing uh, for humanity, and and wonderful to see these these fantastic stories and, and uh, well, well, we'll definitely catch up many times before five years from now, but, but let's, let's mark our calendar for, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Five years let's from now. with the crystal ball and see and where we'll see, we're at. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how many cracks are in that ball, but, uh, but no, I, I love your yeah. vision and, and let's, uh, let's work together to, to help, help get there. Yeah. Wonderful. Let's awesome. thank, yeah, thanks thank again. You. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it.